And thank you very much again, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us on the Abbotsford Small Business Show. Glad to have you back. You know, I have been podcasting and I've been blogging. The uh, It's been an exciting week. The last couple of blogs I've done. I did one on um, Tumblr. I've yet to finish. I think, you know... With with okay, so so let me break back up just a moment and tell you what the program is all about. For a limited time, and I don't know how long it's going to be. It could be for a couple of weeks. Could be for a couple of months. Could be for six months. I don't know. I'm going to offer my. I have a broadcast studio, a little broadcast studio here, with some pretty sophisticated equipment, some good microphones, and a mixing board, and pre-tube amplifiers and stuff. Nice lighting, and and I want to have. I want to interview. Uh, small business owners in Abbotsford and I want them to talk about their passion and why they got involved in their business and what uh, what sets their business apart and what they love about their business and then together as a collaborative effort we will put that on the internet and you know here's something that, that I find really really valuable when I go out somewhere in Abbotsford and I find that uh, whatever, wherever I go if the experience Say, for example, if it was a restaurant and I got really good service and exceptional food, instead of dropping a little note and saying, yes, thank you very much for the food and, yeah, top-rated stars, and even instead of going to TripAdvisor and putting it on the Internet that way, what I'll do is I will sneak back <laughs> to that establishment with my handy-landy Votto cam. I'll show you what it is. <clears throat> this little Votto cam here I picked up a couple of years ago online for a little over a hundred dollars and it's a high def camera and I'll go into the business and I will take a video of the business and then I will praise the business online on a YouTube video and help their business out because here's what I think I think that if you get really good service and have a good experience you should support that business in a very unique way and uh, this is what this um, small business, Abbotsford small business uh, concept is all about, is I want to offer this free concept to small business owners in Abbotsford to come on the show, and then what we'll do is we'll put their videos up on YouTube. I want to show them how easy it is, and how vitally, vitally important it is to podcast, to tell their story from their lips, the owner's lips and put it in a YouTube video and put it on the internet. And I'll give you an example. I'll give you two examples right off the cuff. I was down at uh, the new opening of Save On at Watkin Road here a couple of couple of weeks ago. And there, uh, you know, they have these tables. You go in, in the round, the, in the aisles and up and down and, you're, and all these taste testers. <laughs> As a matter of fact, if you go to a grand opening of any food store now and they have these taste testers, you don't even have to have dinner. You just make a couple of trips and, you know, you get enough food for a full meal. But anyway, I was I was going up and down the aisles. And there was a, a wonderful little table. And it was, uh, she was selling uh, almond roca, but she called it something almond crunch. Almond crunch, that's what it was. And I had to try some. And it was delicious. I'm telling you, it was really, really good. So we bought a box. And I brought it home, and most of the box got eaten that night because my wife and I just could not stop eating this stuff. So I about had, a, had about a third of a box of this stuff left. And a couple of days later, I came down to the studio here, and I did a podcast on it, and I put it up on, on YouTube. And I said, two thumbs up, great. you know. And, this is, and then I put a link to her website. And then a couple of weeks uh, ago, we went to our grand son's hockey game in Abbotsford and then after the hockey game we went to a wonderful restaurant that I've been to several times before and it was called Anne Marie's and I was so taken with the food and the service and it was consistent the food and the service is always consistent at Anne Marie's that I took my I take my, my handy dandy Votto camera everywhere I go because you never know what you're going to experience right so I just, I walked around the restaurant for a couple of minutes and I put together a little video and I sent the link to Anne Marie's and I said, hey, listen, use the video any way you want. And instead of saying, thank you, uh, it was a delicious meal, 
that only gets to the owner. It might get to a few people. But if I make a YouTube video out of it, it gets to a lot of people. And do you know how easy it is to start podcasting for your business? Now, let's take a look at it from several sides. If you're a small business owner in Abbotsford, you can do one of two things. There's the marketing side, and you can use podcasting to market your goods and services or products. Because you're in business, obviously, because of a passion of what you, you, you really, you, your, life's, your life's passion, right? That's why you're in business. If you love selling cars, you're not going to go and work at a donut shop. You're going to sell cars, and you're going to want to talk about selling cars, and you get enthusiastic, and that's, that's your passion. Most of the time, you get somebody on fire about their passion, and they won't shut up. And this is a good thing. See, all we have to do in this particular podcast show is get enthusiastic and passionate owners, small business owners in Abbotsford, put them on that microphone on the other side of this table, and just let the camera go and let them tell their story. Everyone has a very, very powerful story, especially if it's about your business. Because it's... You know, first of all, people, you know, they usually don't get involved, open up a business to make money. That's, that's not their main goal. They open up a business because they love what they're doing. Then the money usually follows. So with a combination of equipment, and you know, you can do this on the cheap. I just finished doing a podcast about how you can start, you can start podcasting for under $400. And here's, here's how you do it. Get a little netbook, and then I mean they're 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 not really powerful computers, but you can start off from two hundred and eighty five dollars. My wife bought a netbook a year and a half ago, and then a couple of years ago I bought a little little snowball microphone, and I put them together. And boy oh boy, you know you can make a great impression with equipment that costs four hundred dollars. If you want to step it up, of course you can buy a better uh, computer, and you can go up to six hundred dollars with the uh, with the computer, and then you know one hundred dollars for a microphone. Seven hundred dollars you're in, and then you've got a very sophisticated combination where you can start podcasting and blogging about your business. I really think that this is going to be the next greatest, latest thing. You see, you can study SEO, which is search engine optimization, sure, but if you don't have anything to search, <laughs> if you don't have your story, see, here's the thing that I think is really, really important as a business owner. You've already, you know what your story's about, but nobody else knows. So I want you to put your thinking cap on and start thinking about, if I had to go on the small business show, Abbots for Small Business show, and tell my story, what would I want listeners and viewers to know about my business? And you know what? We can take the camera. I've got this camera. I've got a high definition, like a, a, a almost a prosumer level um, camcorder where I can take it into your business and we can sit down and I've ordered a, another microphone, a very, very professional microphone for studio, mobile studio work. And we can sit down right at your business, right in the middle of your business, be surrounded by all of your stuff and you can talk about it. You can bring out samples and sit down and say, okay, well, this is this and this is that. It doesn't matter what it is. We can put it on video we can put it together, wrap it around with a really wonderful audio session and put it on YouTube. You see, that's free advertising. And once you put it on YouTube and then put it on your blog, because uh, the blogs that I'm using, I opened up uh, abbotsfordsmallbusiness.blogspot.com for absolutely nothing. It doesn't cost me a dime. It doesn't cost me anything. Then... I do video work as opposed to audio work, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> when you do video work and you put it together as an MPEG or an AVI file,